Namaste everyone. Our topic today is marriage and relationship. So as a humans, when we reach of marriageable age, we start looking for prospects. Generally nowadays relationships start from school itself. And then we go on to see marriage, prospects for marriage. So what is that particular factor that distinguishes between a relationship and a marriage? What is the difference between a marriage analysis and a relationship analysis? Because people in relationships and people in marriage, I think, behave in two different ways. The answer is simple. Venus indicates relationship. Venus indicates any woman or any male. In the female horoscope. According to my experience, I take Venus as the significator of male in female horoscope as well. So it is Venus, the position of Venus, the Rashi placement, the house placement, conjunctions, aspects over Venus, which indicate about relationships. Your behavior in relationship, the type of relationship that you are going to have, happiness, miseries and all of that. And it is the seventh house and seventh lord which does indicate about marriage. Talking of Rashi, Venus going into a malefic Rashi, Rashi of Mars, Rashi of Saturn, Rashi of Sun indicates difficult relationship whereas Seventh Lord in such Rashis indicate a difficult marriage. The experience specifically, Rashis deal with experience, the experiences are bad. Talking of few combinations, generally I have seen when Venus is influenced by Saturn. By being into the Rashi of Saturn, aspected by Saturn, conjoined by Saturn, if this Venus is not powerful, you say Venus goes to Libra, it becomes powerful. Now, even if it is connected to Saturn, the prediction that I am going to tell you is will not come true because Venus is powerful. Otherwise, normal condition Venus or weak condition Venus when it is influenced by Saturn generally indicate no relationships or very few relationships. It generally indicates. Venus connected with Mercury, I have also seen, does not indicate relationships. Though it can indicate that one have female friends, <clears throat> but conversion of the same into relationship seems to be an issue. Venus conjoined with Mars, though people think it is a combination for high libido or whatever, is also in inclusive of you know it does indicate a few relationships only now in all this scenario of venus mercury and venus mars the influence of venus saturn because i have mentioned it first should be kept into consideration venus conjoined with mercury that happens very often if it is happening in the rashi of saturn or under the aspect of saturn or conjunction of saturn you have to decide which is more powerful. If Saturn is more powerful, then Saturn will take over. And rather than having many female friends and quite some relationships, it will be just the opposite of no relationship or very few relationships, to be honest. It is the combination of Venus with Moon, which generally indicates many relationships. What I have seen, Venus with Moon indicates mad love kind of a scenario where a person is very much involved into someone, want to marry them. Often it gives true loves. Sorry, seldom it gives true love. Often time it gives the desire to have someone in your life that ultimately does not succeed. The person that you want in your life marries to someone else and things happen like that. And then such people go on blaming the other person that they have eloped, they have cheated, etc. Whereas the reality is that the relationship was never there. 
Venus with Sun is also a very bad combination. What I have seen, which constantly gives you frustrations and disappointments in the matter of relationships, and generally in such cases, false accusations will come on the native and tends to disturb the mental and emotional peace of the native. Hence, in such scenarios, going into relationships should be avoided. Right, Venus Jupiter generally gives few relationships. They work as well. The relationships work as well, succeed also. But the thing is, Venus Jupiter once again puts a problem in marriage. So relationship can be very good, but somehow it does not fructify into a marriage. For the relationship to fructify into marriage, as I have talked about earlier, marriage is indicated by the seventh law. So there have to be a connection between the seventh house and the Venus. So seventh house and Venus, seventh lord and Venus. So seventh lord, Venus conjoined together, Venus in the seventh house. Venus in the Rashi of a planet that is aspecting the seventh lord. Venus in the Rashi of a planet that is situated in the seventh house. Anyhow, this connection is there. It generally indicates one getting married to there. Some one getting married to someone they are in relationship with, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Other than that, I take fourth house for love marriage. So generally, 7th Lord connected with 4th house, 7th Lord connected with 4th Lord, 4th Lord connected with 7th house generally gives a love marriage. Other than that, a powerful 7th Lord or 7th Lord connected to Ascendant, Ascendant Lord connected to 7th house, the connection of 7th with the Ascendant gives marriage by choice. So this is not technically a love marriage, but you are marrying someone you like. It is generally a case that you have seen a few prospects for marriage. One of that prospects you like a lot went into a very short relationship, highly desirous of marrying the person and then you get married. Though it is not a full-fledged relationship, it is just liking the person in the first go and then wishing to marry and because the introduction itself happened for the purpose of marriage, you get married. So not a Relationship in a traditional sense, somehow equivalent. It is as it is. Right. So these are the result of Venus with planets. Also, Venus in bad rashes, you know, Venus in sixth house, Venus in bad houses, sixth house, eighth house. Generally, these two houses are not very conducive for relationships. And generally, you will see Venus in the 6th house and Venus in the 8th house people have no relationship at all. If there is a combination for love marriage, then they can have a relationship, but they will have a relationship with only the person they are going to marry. Of course, this combination will be modified if Venus goes with Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Moon. These planets which indicate relationship. Right, so a careful analysis is needed. In a nutshell, all the influences coming over Venus, the condition and the position of Venus dictate what is happening in a relationship. Whereas it is the position of the seventh lord, Rashi placement of seventh lord, house placement of seventh lord, planetary influences, conjunction, aspects over the seventh lord, which decides what is going to happen in regarding the wife. It is the influences over the seventh house that indicates what is going to happen in marriage. So this is a very clear differentiation that you have to keep in mind because this is a very general question that I see on a day-to-day -day basis regarding will I be able to marry my girlfriend or boyfriend or not. There is also one very simple point that you can check yourself if you are into a relationship Check the date when the relationship started. When you proposed the person. And the relationship started. Not the day when you met. It is when the relationship started. If you were looking for options, you were dating someone, then it is the time of meeting. 
in the case of friends etc who know each other for a long time but go into a relationship later on it is the time when you go into a relationship check the dasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha of that time it is generally the pratyantar dasha which decides the nature of event in such cases in this particular technique when you meet someone and your inquiry is regarding will this meeting fructify into something or not it is the pratyantar dasha that you should look at so check the pratyantar dasha lord for the day when the relationship started if it is connected with seventh house or seventh lord this relationship can turn into marriage otherwise not of course because it is a start of a relationship to check the efficacy of the technique you will surprisingly find that the pratyantar dasha lord for the day when you people went into a relationship is connected to venus in rashi in navamsha chapter so this is something that you have to keep in your mind and also the point is that to answer this particular query whether i will be able to marry my girlfriend boyfriend or not you can make a prashna chart as well you can do a prashna analysis and if in the prashna horoscope which is casted for the moment when a query is raised if seventh house or seventh lord is connected to ascendant or ascendant lord then the answer is yes the person can marry their girlfriend or boyfriend otherwise not also talking of the timing for going into a relationship there are a few fundas few principles that i use as i told you it is venus so the rashi lord of venus planets connected with venus planets connected with seventh house from venus the lord of the rashi which is falling in seventh from venus planets situated in seventh from venus planets influencing aspecting the rashi in seventh from venus in their dasha antar dasha they give relationship provided the fact these planets are powerful if these planets are weak that basically means they are combust etc the combinations for weakness if this planet is weak then they may not give relationship now whether this relationship will be good it will not be good it will give you satisfaction it will not give you satisfaction to check that you have to see whether this planet who is giving relationship by making a connection with venus or seventh to it is making a positive connection or a negative connection if it is making a positive connection it does indicate a good relationship if it is making a negative connection it indicates a bad relationship so you say it is a malefic planet who is influencing venus now right and in this dasha antar dasha you are going into a relationship because it is a malefic planet influencing venus the prime purpose of the planet is to give you misery so this particular relationship will land you into miseries the same principle should be used for seventh lord also for the timing of marriage talking of transit what i have seen when we when jupiter is transiting over venus when jupiter is transiting in third 11th house from venus when jupiter is transiting 10th from venus when jupiter is transiting 5th house and 9th house from venus it is generally the time one goes into relationship jupiter transiting in 5th or 9th to venus is also a time for childbirth hence you should be careful about it generally jupiter transiting over venus or transiting in 11th from venus is the time when one will get into a relationship now there are many houses over venus third from venus fifth from venus ninth from venus 10th from venus 11th from venus i have told you six rashi how will you decide out of these six rashis which rashi will give you relationship to do that you have to see the rashi if the rashi belongs to the friend of jupiter if the rashi belongs to a planet if the rashi is situated in if in the rashi a planet is there who is friend of jupiter basically means if jupiter is simultaneously transiting into good houses from venus also and in a house where his friend is also situated transiting over his friend then in that scenario it converts it converts into a relationship the friends for jupiter are moon sun mars is also friend but generally the relationship 
which starts when Jupiter is transiting through a Martian Rashi or when Jupiter is transiting over Mars is a relationship which produces miseries. Same goes with Saturn also. Saturn is neutral towards Jupiter. Hence, Jupiter going to the Saturnian Rashi, Jupiter going to a Rashi where Saturn is situated in may also give a relationship. But it is a short-term relationship leading to miseries. Jupiter going through his own Rashi or Jupiter transiting over the position of natal Jupiter while being into uh, in these good houses, the uh, over Venus, second from Venus, fifth from sorry, third from Venus, fifth from Venus, ninth from Venus, tenth, eleventh from Venus, is also a time that indicates relationship. Now there is one more particular point regarding the person. Whether this relationship, this person, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, is good for you, bad for you, will bring fortune, will bring miseries, what shall be the result? To know that, what you have to do, you have to check the ascendant Rashi and the moon Rashi of the boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. So basically speaking, say you are going to you are going to be in relationship with someone having a Gemini ascendant and uh, Libra moon. So in this particular scenario, Gemini is a Rashi of Mercury. Libra is a Rashi of Venus. So you see, and in Libra, Saturn is exalted also. So you see exalted planets and you see the Lord of the Rashi. That is Venus, Mer Mars, sorry, Mercury and Saturn. Now you see Venus, Mercury and Saturn are situated in which houses of your horoscope? They are Lord of which houses? Are they good planets? Are they bad planets? Wherever, how, whatever house these planets are situated in, wherever in the horoscope these planets are situated in, those results get activated. So you see if Mercury is situated in the 8th house, this relationship after going into this relationship, there can be health problems. If Venus is the ninth Lord, then after going into this relationship, you will be more fortunate. If Saturn is situated in the 10th house, after going into this relationship, your professional life will improve to a greater extent. So this you have to do, check the ascendant and the moon sign of the girlfriend, boyfriend. Check the planet who, who is the lord of these Rashis, ascendant and moon sign and the planets, if any, who will be exalted in the ascendant or moon sign of the to be boyfriend or girlfriend. And then check these planets are lord of which houses of your horoscope are situated in which houses of your horoscope. And these are the results which gets activated. Remember, it is not like one person is entirely good or entirely bad. There can be a mixture of results. One particular relationship can make you fortunate, but can give you diseases as well. So keep this in mind while analyzing. Right? The prime purpose of Jyotish is to give clarity to our decisions and give us clarity regarding what is going to come next in future. Hence, I think this particular topic of demarcation between marriage and relationship will help you in that. Thank you for watching the video.